Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm Jamie. And what's today's mission? Today we're going to be talking about marketing ideas. So, um, restaurant marketing ideas, uh, fresh ideas for 2016. Great. So we found an article on uh, FastCasual.com and the title is 10 Fresh Marketing Ideas for 2016. So, um, and some of these aren't so fresh, but I think that people need a, a refresher the beginning these, of the year right and now is the time to be scheduling and figuring out what your marketing plan is going to be for 2016 right. so you need to start planning now thinking about it and then throughout the year so what better time yep. to start than yep, the new it's year it's right around new year so yeah but you can use this anytime even if you're not watching this at new year's time this is something for you to think about right and implement asap and sometimes you already are implementing this or you're doing small parts you say, oh yeah, I need to do the next step of this. So, business tip number two, fresh ideas for 2016 marketing. Build a simple, elegant website. Almost 50% of restaurant website traffic takes place on mobile devices. According to a gourmetmarketing.com article, restaurants that offer a responsive mobile website convert up to 64% of searchers. There are many high quality do-it-yourself websites that enable restaurants to build their own mobile friendly websites like Squarespace and Wix and I know we use one. We use Weebly. <clears throat> and so uh, website content about you, your restaurant, um, your menus, um, all of those types of things. So here's the thing that people need to understand. You don't need a website designer anymore for a website. You need to know some kind of SEO, some kind of, some kind of skills on, on marketing the website. And a lot of things, a lot of people don't realize that the person who builds your website is not really the same person who can market your website. A good web designer will know SEO skills, search engine optimization, keyword tagging, all that kind of stuff that's properly done. But you can easily go on YouTube and get a tutorial now in five minutes and, and know some of the basics of how to keyword stuff and how to look up keywords. Technology has changed drastically. When we first opened, they didn't have the platforms that you could do your own sites. This was 13 years ago. They were just now coming up. But we adopted 13 years ago because I didn't want to be at the mercy of a web, web designer. designer. We wanted to be able to change the website in a minute when we needed to change it. Fresh Not content. waiting for somebody else. Fresh content is extremely important on your website. When you're doing an event, when you have a new wine, when you have a new entree, things that you keep putting on, Google likes, Google the search engine, likes when you put fresh things up because then it's more content that it can, can put out there and, and attract your website. And the more links you have back and forth, it can get very complicated SEO, um, but the problem is you need to get out there and just do it and build a site. And you know, even, even when you buy a domain name, like if your restaurant is, is Ed and Al's Diner, okay, and you're located in, in some, you know, let's say, let's say uh, Ulster County for us, Ulster County Diners, you need to buy a couple different domain names. Now, of course you want your business name, Ed and Al's Diner, right? But you also want UlsterCountyDiner.com or best UlsterCountyDiner.com, right? Because you have to think, people are gonna be typing in, what are they gonna be typing in? Oh, diner, Ulster County. So you wanna put yourself in the mindset of the person who's sitting at the computer and what they're typing in at the time and try to buy a domain name that matches that and then use those keywords all over the place. So when you title a picture, people don't realize when you put a picture on your website, you need to rename it and rename it to match your keywords. So if you're Ed Nell's Diner, you'd say Ulster County Diner Ed Nell's Ed Nell's. That would be the name of the picture. And of course, if you have 20 pictures, you would just number them and say maybe um, meatloaf, um, wiener schnitzel, whatever. But you'd want to keep your keywords in that same thing. So it's super simple to do this now uh, with all the platforms. So yeah, build your own website, keep it updated, keep it clean, keep it simple. I'm a person who likes content. I think content is king and that's how a lot of people find us. So I put up a ton of information. But I think that a lot of people, we're doing something different, right? We're trying right. to educate and trying to do stuff like that. But people, when they go to a website, don't always want that. They just want what they're looking for at that exact They want what moment. they're looking for. So there's a, a so blog there's option. You have to be careful. Well, there's right. a blog option on websites to put con up con daily content constantly. And that's, that can be your personal opinion, it can be your brand, it can be your, your, your identity. And your blog, you can repost other people's ideas as long as you give them credit for it and the source, you know, the source. But that's where you can just keep putting content after content after content. 
on your blog portion of your website. So, uh, websites for 2016, keep it simple, keep it updated, and I say do it yourself.